Hello and welcome to EV Car Share. I'm Matt and this is a new year. So I hope you've had a great Christmas and I wish you all a happy new year. This is January, this is 2025. 2025, wow. Makes you feel old, doesn't it? Maybe we are, um, or at least I am anyway. I don't know what you are, maybe you're old, maybe you're not, who knows. Um, but as I say, it's January, it's cold. This gives me a real good opportunity Oh, I'm wearing my Christmas jumper, by the way. Do you like my Christmas jumper? Um, give me some comments, uh, thumbs up or down. Well, I no, not thumbs up or down. Comment saying, yeah, I like your Christmas jumper, Matt, or no, give it a miss. Um, anyway, <laughs> so this gives me an opportunity in the cold weather to do some stuff with regard to cold batteries. So I've done in the past, you can look it up on, on the channel, um, on preconditioning. So how and why to precondition your battery prior to rapid charging to make sure you get those speeds that you bought the car for. This is a car, this is my EV6, this is on the eGMP platform. This is a car that is capable of doing 230 plus um, kilowatts at its peak charging. However, you will not get peak charging unless your battery is at peak temperature. Uh, you will get reduced charging and as you go down the temperature scales you will get more and more reduced charging so above 21 as your lowest cell temperature you'll get so 21 degrees c we're talking there you'll get around 190 ish kilowatt if you go above 25 into the optimum level you get the full 235 kilowatt but what do we get if the battery is down at the other end? What's, what's the consequence of not doing it? How bad does it get? So today I left my house, it was minus one. Okay, so minus one degree, that's pretty cold. Um, it's now reading one degree on my temperature scale here. Um, and I've come to the Peterborough services to Ionity in order to give this a little test. So. Let me just show you on my other camera what the temperatures are at. So you can see on my display here, we have a battery minimum of one degree, and we have a battery maximum of two degrees. Um, the battery is at 33.5% state of charge, so we're not limiting the battery by starting at a high state of charge, that's not a limit. I'm at very rapid charge points here at Ionity, so that also won't be the limit. Um, what the limit will be, will be this battery temperature. Uh, so we're going to go and over just to there, so not very far away, and we're going to plug in and we're going to see what we get at this 1-2 degrees um, temperature. Okay, so I've plugged in, I've activated on the app, and the app is telling me my current power output is 63 kilowatts. So it's faster than a 50 rapid, but it's not the ultra rapid that you'd be hoping for. So it's not the 190, 200, 230 kilowatts that this car is capable of. I mean, it's not disastrous. So at 63 kilowatts, on um, one to two degrees that's okay so it's currently hovering 63 64 kilowatts uh, i've been charging for about a minute uh, if i switch to my um, car scanner app uh, then we're still reading back one one two um, on the on the temperature so we're still reading a minimum temperature of one for the lowest cell and a maximum temperature of two for the highest cell. Um, just one point of comment, there are some cars that way here, there is a space that way, so I'm not taking up the last Ionity charger here at Peterborough Services. If somebody arrives wanting to charge, they have the ability, there is a free charge point. Um, so just a point there of um, good etiquette, good charging etiquette. Um, and I will move if that one becomes taken and none of the others become free. So we're now up to three on the battery maximum, but the minimum is still hovering one. And we're still, we're up to 69 kilowatts now, but we're still below 70. So it's still, I mean, it's still quicker than some cars. Some cars can't even charge at the speed at their maximum speed. Um, but it isn't what you've paid for if you bought this car, obviously. Of course, this is me showing you 
what's happening at the temperatures I have here on a cold day. Your cold day, if you live in Canada or Russia or Norway or something like that, your cold day will be much colder than my cold day. If you're down below, below zero at minus five, minus 10, then you're going to see this even more so. It's going to be even worse. So just bear that in mind. Battery minimum is up to three. I just had a notification from the app that I'll hit my 50% in 10 minutes. That's where my DC charging limit currently is sat. Um, so I'm not going to stay here any longer. I've shown what I want to show and I will leave it at that. So thank you for watching. Um, I will free up this space for somebody else who wants to charge. I will not incur too many costs um, for myself in doing this video. And I will move on and, and move away. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been useful. Give me a thumbs up, add some comments, subscribe if you like what you see. Um, and definitely go back and have a look at some of my previous videos. The one on preconditioning the battery is worth looking at especially if you've been interested in this one. So until next time, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you again next time.